Hey, Rick Rodriguez here. Come to you from my front porch in Hawaii. <laughs> uh, today, uh, I want to talk about uh, being more self-sufficient and responsible. Like in Hawaii, it's you know it's sort of easy for us to um, forage for food or trade or something like that, where you can get fresh, good, um, non-GMO, uh, organic uh, food. And uh, on, on my property, like, we have lots of stuff to eat, a variety of things. This is an ice cream bean. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. I'm going to open one up. I, I just usually twist them. And then I, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble showing you. Because I never did that. Okay. See? You got these, like, bean dudes inside of there. I'll take one out. And then... Where's my camera? See it? It's got this like fuzzy stuff around it. Reminds me of like a, I don't know, with a seed inside. It's really good. The taste of it is incredible. It like has this really in-depth taste. Taste, sorry. <laughs> and uh, like real cinnamon and stuff like that. Very nutritious. Very good for you. Non-GMO. 100% organic. We eat them just about every day. My pig likes them. Then uh, yesterday or day before maybe when I went surfing. Yesterday I went surfing too. Hey, went down to the beach. Check this out. I picked a whole lot of. I have a whole bunch of them on my lap, and I'm letting them ripen. See, these are noni fruits. If you've never seen one, I got ice cream beans in there too. But I'll take the beans out so you can see. So I pick these and I'm going to make a lotion out of them, like a skin lotion. I'll ferment them and soak them. Uh, and then um, I'll make it like a salve or something like that. Okay. No cream. I did not turn my back on the camera. <laughs> but you can see here on the islands, like uh, those, these uh, noni fruits I picked off the side of the road in the bushes. They just fall to the ground. I guess they seeded along the way and stink dude <laughs> but uh, they're very medicinal and there's lots of uses for them too but um, I know a lot of people in the city uh, they can't um, collect food or um, medicinal herbs spices and stuff like that so they have to earn money to buy them and um, I set my life up um, so I wouldn't have to do that 100% um, and uh, it's a chore it might be more work <laughs> than just going to a, a mindless job and letting them give you paper. But, um, like my friend says, that he has a mindless, soulless job when he makes a half a million dollars a year. <laughs> and he always looks at me and goes, but you have a better lifestyle. I'm like, dude, really? <laughs> but anyways, all of us choose, you know, where we live and the lifestyle that we have, whether you believe it or not. And, um... Uh, I just wanted to share this with you to show you that um, uh, we're real abundant here uh, and um, in Hawaii and there's lots of resources besides the store <laughs> uh, there's lots of people that will trade you like if you picked a bunch of these nonis and a bunch of these beans they might trade you for some other like uh, lettuce or you know uh, we have coconuts here too. We have uh, bamboo. Eat the bamboo shoots. Um, we have a lot of citrus. You wouldn't think citrus grows in Hawaii, but it does. And uh, we have an orange tree, two types of grapefruits, uh, tangerine, citrus. Yeah, and a tangerine. Uh, <laughs> so I was trying to think of all the citrus. But we have those, and uh, we just got done like eating uh, tangerines for like two months straight from one tree just every day we had to eat them um, we also have water apples sapote and bananas and uh, in the next video I'll uh, show you some cooking bananas like everybody thinks oh bananas the only thing they've ever seen is chiquitas but there is a lot of different kind of bananas okay I hope you enjoyed this little uh, noni fruit uh, video and we'll see you at the beach guys aloha